All right, guys, here we are again, and uh, I want to show you a couple of goodies. Um, the biggest one here is the Unify controller for your Wi-Fi, or pretty much any internet in your house. You can actually track what's being done through Deep Packet Inspection, also known as DPI, which is totally cool. I love this feature. So to enable it, if you go to Settings, slide over the DPI. Now, you have to have the Unify Gateway to do this, um, but... If you don't, don't really worry about it, but the DPI is awesome. So people have asked me to be able to clear it. And this is how you reset everything. As you can see here on my dashboard, I think we go through a lot of data here in the house. Um, but going back to our settings, I'll go back to our DPI. And you can also do like restrictions on groups and assignments. I haven't set these up yet, but you can, uh, you can add different DPI restriction groups by um, you can see like select category, business, database, file transfer, peer-to-peer. -peer. I, I don't see adult, which I think would be like the worst one to really have up there, or the best one. You know, I have kids, so I, I would rather keep them safe than, you know, sorry. Anyways, so you can restrict the D, um, access based on DPI. And so this DPI inspection is really, really good for figuring out who's doing what on your network. We'll go back to the dashboard here. And uh, as you can see, it's love this information they give you. I have no clue what happened there. But you can click on it, and here's your stats. So you can see streaming media is a huge data puller in our house. That's 1.07 terabytes. That's massive. Uh, there's Netflix, YouTube, and obviously regular MP3. So like these two are the big hitters in my house for using the most data. But everything else here is like, it's logged. This is insane. I'm not going to say that I've done any peer-to-peer -peer transferring, but it looks like it got caught on here. Um, Limelight, I don't know what that is. Uh, web file transfers, GitHub, Dropbox, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, it's my kids obviously. Uh, quick, that's a, that's a Google thing, which is pretty sweet. So here's the cool thing. You can also click on apps to see who's, who, like overall, what's the speed demon on your network. So I'm pulling down 470 gigs on Netflix. That's insane. YouTube's up there pretty high quick that like seriously that is like a google somehow it's a udp protocol that google has for like stripping data or something furious um not sure what it is 100 uh, percent, but that's what i've been able to google anyways um xbox obviously my kids play games and then you can tag them by users so this will show you the grand puma of users uh my daughters my sons you can see who's using the most data based on what, streaming media, etc, etc. You can see he's doing games, network protocols, file transfer, uh, you know, you can do everything in the house. And, the, and even going back to your overview, if you're like, well, who's using the most Netflix? Just select it. Shazam, it looks like Kylie's PS3 and my bedroom PS3 are pulling down the beef. And the PS4 is in the living room that we all watch TV on, so that's obviously going to pull a little bit higher. But, I mean, I have one child pulling three times more information uh, than I am here in the living room. That's pretty substantial. So that's that's kind of how you know, like, hmm, maybe we should throw back a little bit more. But this is useful information. You can do that on more than just one thing. Um, Xbox, I guarantee this is Alex. Yeah, Alex is Xbox 36.1, apparently. Um... But so this is the useful information that you get. You can web file transfer. That's crazy. And and this is super super useful when trying to figure out what's going on in your network, uh, how much media is going back and forth, uh, what are your kids doing? I know what I'm doing, uh, but you know it, it kind of gives you an overall snapshot of what it looks like, and you can clear these categories. But I is that clear? I'm already here. Let me hit that button. Oh, no. All that does is turn them off. So you can go back through and you can turn these on one by one if you want to see just certain portions of them. I turn them, almost all of them on, to be honest with you, just because I like to see what's going on. There's obviously, there's an unknown category. So there's a lot of unknown of what's going on in my traffic, which it's, it's typical. It's going to happen. Um, but here we go. Go back to my settings. Go to DPI. Clear my counters. Confirm that. Shazam, it has been discarded and you start over. If you want to go that route. This is the other way to do it too. 
So this is starting over today is the fourth. I usually try to start this on the first of each month. Um, so there you go. There is unified DPI in a nutshell. Uh, I hope this was somewhat useful for anybody who's kind of looking to dabble in using some Unify equipment. I highly recommend it because, uh, well, I love it. That's why. <laughs> Not biased in the least bit, but uh, it, it's, it really is great hardware and it, the software that runs on the controller is just fantastic. So if you guys are looking to step up your, your uh, network game, this is definitely a good way to go. It's great cost and it has everything you're looking for. So until next time folks if you have any questions throw them in the comments if you have any answers for things i didn't answer throw them in the comments and there again take my advice at your own risk because i don't know what i'm doing but have yourself a good one until next time